Vite, a JavaScript build tool that simplifies the way we build and develop front-end web applications. At its core, it does two things. One, serve your code locally during development, and two, bundle your JavaScript, CSS, and other assets together for production. There are many other tools out there that do the same thing, like Webpack, so what makes Vite different? Well, it was created by Evan Yu, who also created Vue.js, as a way to both simplify and speed up the build process. Not long ago, web developers had no native way to combine JavaScript files together in a modular way. This led to tools like Webpack and Rollup that concatenate multiple files together into a single bundle for the browser. The problem is that this process becomes increasingly slow as the app adds more code and dependencies. In 2015, ECMAScript modules were introduced and by 2020 had wide browser support, allowing developers to import and export code from different files in the browser. Vite leverages native ES modules in the browser to load your code instantly no matter how large the app is. It also supports hot module replacement for an extremely fast feedback loop during development. When building for production, it uses Rollup under the hood, so you don't have to worry about configuring it. It's an opinionated tool that provides conventions that work out of the box for the majority of developers. To get started, run npm init vite from the command line, and choose a starter project with your favorite front-end framework. You'll notice the project comes with a vite config file. It has a plugin ecosystem that can extend it with additional features, and you can also manually override the Rollup defaults when necessary. And there are some really cool plugins out there, like vite SSR, that can do server-side rendering like next JS. Now to serve the application locally, run npm run dev. Even if I install a bunch of big dependencies like Lodash and Moment, the time to run the dev server does not change. Now if you open the network tab in the browser dev tools, you'll notice that instead of importing a single JavaScript bundle file, it's importing our actual source code, like a raw TSX file in this case. It also makes TypeScript about 20 to 30 times faster because it skips type checking and uses ESBuild to transpile your code. Now as you're developing your app, you might change the state of it in the UI, then realize that some of the code needs to change. When you modify the source code, the changes will be reflected instantly without losing the state of the application. That's what we call hot module replacement. Now, run npm build to build the app for production. This will generate a JavaScript bundle with rollup with a bunch of automatic optimizations like automatic code splitting for any dynamic imports and CSS. This has been Vite in 100 seconds. If you want to see more short videos like this, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.